Scientists discovering possible signs of life on Venus. A new study finding traces of gas in the planet's clouds may indicate that some form of life existed or may even exist there. Venus, our neighboring planet, has long been an enigma wrapped in a thick, toxic atmosphere. Scientists have speculated for decades about what truly lies beneath its dense clouds, but new declassified images revealed by Neil deGrasse Tyson are changing everything we thought we knew about this hellish world. What these images show has left scientists stunned and has reignited debates about the potential for past or even present life on Venus. For years, Venus has been overshadowed by Mars in the search for extraterrestrial life. The red planet has been the focus of rovers, orbiters, and missions designed to uncover its secrets. But what if we've been looking in the wrong place? What if Venus has been hiding something all along? And what if newly declassified images show something far more intriguing than we ever expected? To understand the significance of these images, we need to take a closer look at Venus itself. Venus is often called Earth's sister planet due to its similar size and composition. But in reality, it is a world of extremes. Its surface temperature reaches a scorching 900 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. The atmosphere is composed mostly of carbon dioxide, with thick clouds of sulfuric acid that create a crushing greenhouse effect. The atmospheric pressure on Venus is 92 times greater than Earth's, meaning that standing on its surface would feel like being submerged under a mile of ocean water. For these reasons, Venus has long been considered a dead world, inhospitable, barren, and devoid of any possibility for life. But the declassified images tell a different story. Neil deGrasse Tyson, the renowned astrophysicist, has been given access to a series of previously classified images taken by various space missions. These images, some of which come from Soviet Venera landers and modern satellite scans, are forcing scientists to rethink everything. One of the most shocking revelations in these images is the presence of unusual surface formations that appear to be artificial in nature. Some scientists argue that these formations resemble structures, possibly ruins of some kind, hidden beneath the thick Venusian atmosphere. Could it be that Venus once had an advanced civilization? Before dismissing this idea, consider this. Venus was once a habitable world. Recent studies suggest that billions of years ago, Venus had vast oceans, a temperate climate, and conditions similar to early Earth. Some models even propose that Venus remained habitable for up to three billion years more than enough time for life to develop. But something happened. Some catastrophic event triggered a runaway greenhouse effect, boiling away the oceans and transforming Venus into the inferno we see today. If Venus once had water, then it could have supported life. But the biggest question remains, did that life evolve into something more? Neil deGrasse Tyson explains, that the declassified images contain features that are difficult to explain through natural geological processes alone. Some of these images appear to show patterns, structures, and even symmetrical formations that don't align with what we know about Venusian geology. Could these be the remains of something ancient? Adding to the mystery, some recently analyzed data suggests that Venus may still have active volcanism. This means the planet isn't as geologically dead as we once believed. If the surface is still shifting and changing, could it be hiding something buried beneath? But here's where things get even stranger. Scientists have detected unexplained anomalies in Venus's atmosphere that defy conventional explanations. For decades, astronomers have observed mysterious dark patches in Venus's clouds. These patches, sometimes referred to as UVI absorbers, appear and disappear over time. They seem to interact with the atmosphere in a way that suggests something is actively altering them. In 2020, a groundbreaking study detected phosphine in Venus's clouds, a gas that, on Earth, is primarily produced by microbial life. The discovery sparked a heated debate. Could microbial life be thriving in Venus's atmosphere, protected from the deadly surface below? 
If so, could these mysterious dark patches actually be biological in nature? Neil deGrasse Tyson, in revealing these declassified images, has also raised an even more controversial question. What if Venus was once home to an advanced civilization? And what if they saw their doom coming? If an intelligent species once existed on Venus, they would have witnessed their world slowly turning against them. Rising temperatures, vanishing oceans, and an increasingly toxic atmosphere could have forced them to take desperate measures. Some scientists speculate that an ancient Venusian civilization facing planetary collapse might have attempted to flee to underground shelters, to space, or even to Earth itself. This theory isn't as far-fetched as it sounds. Some of Earth's oldest myths and legends speak of gods descending from the sky, bringing knowledge, tools, and technology. Could it be possible that survivors from Venus seeded civilization on Earth? Adding to the mystery, some of the images appear to show linear formations that resemble roads, walls, or even entire cities buried under Venus's thick clouds. While mainstream scientists urge caution, arguing that these could be natural formations, others believe that the symmetry and pattern suggest something more intentional. But there's another possibility, one even more shocking. What if Venus was never inhabited by intelligent life, but instead is being watched by someone else? Some researchers believe that the declassified images reveal something even stranger than ruins, objects in Venus's atmosphere that don't belong there. These anomalies appear to move against Venus's high-speed winds, hovering in ways that defy known physics. Could these be advanced probes monitoring the planet for reasons unknown? If so, who or what sent them? We already know that Venus's environment is one of the most extreme in the solar system. Any mission to explore its surface faces intense challenges, yet multiple nations are now rushing to send new missions to Venus. The US, Russia, and even private space companies are prioritizing Venus like never before. Why the sudden interest? Are governments and space agencies racing to uncover something they already suspect is there? Some theorists suggest that Venus could be hiding something crucial to our understanding of extraterrestrial life. If life exists in the atmosphere today, could it be a remnant of an ancient biosphere? Or is something seeding life there? Neil deGrasse Tyson's revelations have ignited a firestorm of questions. The declassified images challenge our perceptions of Venus and force us to confront possibilities that were once considered science fiction. Could Venus have been home to an advanced civilization that vanished in catastrophe? Are the strange atmospheric anomalies evidence of an ongoing presence, either biological or technological? And most importantly, why is this information coming out now? There's one thing we know for sure. Venus is no longer just a hellish wasteland. It is a planet with a past, and possibly a future, that demands our attention. As more information becomes available, one thing is certain. The mysteries of Venus are only just beginning to unravel. And what we find there could change everything we know about life in the universe. For decades, we have been conditioned to think of Venus as an uninhabitable wasteland, a cautionary tale of what happens when a planet experiences runaway climate change. But what if we've been wrong? What if Venus is not just a dead world? but one with a hidden history. The idea that Venus was once Earth-like is not new, but recent studies suggest that Venus may have supported life for billions of years before turning into the furnace we see today. If that's the case, it means there was ample time for complex life to evolve. NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies released a study suggesting that Venus had oceans for as long as three billion years. That's longer than the time it took for life to emerge and flourish on Earth. If primitive organisms could have thrived in Venusian waters, then it's not unreasonable to suggest that evolution may have taken a different path, one leading to intelligent life. Could Venus have once hosted a thriving civilization before being transformed into a planetary graveyard? The declassified images, now in the hands of Neil deGrasse Tyson, suggest that something unnatural exists 
beneath Venus's thick clouds. These images, taken by various space agencies and military satellites, hint at structures, geometric formations, and unexplainable anomalies. What do the images show? Many of the newly revealed images come from Soviet-era Venera landers, NASA's Magellan probe, and modern radar mapping missions. The most shocking details include symmetrical structures that resemble walls, roads, and possibly buildings, strange cloud formations that appear to have sharp angles and defined edges, unlike anything seen in a natural atmosphere, heat signatures that suggest underground activity, possibly geothermal or something artificial. One particularly strange discovery is a series of linear formations resembling a grid-like pattern, something that does not occur naturally in geology. The formations span for miles and appear to have right angles and parallel lines, an indication of intelligent design rather than random volcanic activity. Evidence of a lost civilization? If these images do, in fact, show ruins beneath Venus clouds, the implications are staggering. It would mean that we are not the first intelligent species in the solar system. The discovery would rewrite human history. If Venus once had an advanced civilization, where did they go? Did they die out when their planet became uninhabitable? Or did they escape to another world? Some researchers speculate that Venusian refugees could have fled to Earth long before humanity emerged. Could early myths about gods descending from the heavens be echoes of this ancient migration? Many ancient texts describe beings of great knowledge who arrived from the sky, bringing technology and wisdom. The Sumerians spoke of the Anunnaki, while the Egyptians told stories of their gods arriving from the stars. Even in Mesoamerican cultures, deities like Quetzalcoatl were said to have come from beyond. Are these legends remnants of an ancient interplanetary past? What else do these images reveal? Apart from possible ruins, the declassified images also hint at ongoing activity on Venus. Scientists have detected unexplained bursts of heat coming from the surface, suggesting either active volcanoes or something else generating energy. High-altitude particles that behave in ways scientists cannot explain. Possible anomalies moving through Venus's atmosphere, defying known weather patterns. The discovery of phosphine gas in 2020 was already a game-changer. On Earth, phosphine is produced almost exclusively by living organisms. The fact that it exists in Venus's atmosphere suggests either biological activity or a chemical process we don't yet understand. Now, these declassified images may confirm what scientists have long suspected. Venus is not as dead as we once believed. The Mysterious Dark Patches in Venus's Atmosphere One of the most puzzling phenomena captured in the images is the presence of dark patches in Venus's upper atmosphere. These dark patches have been observed since the 1920s, but no one knows exactly what they are. These patches absorb ultraviolet light, meaning they contain unknown compounds or materials. Some scientists speculate they could be swarms of microorganisms thriving in the clouds, living in an environment protected from the planet's extreme surface conditions. If true, this could mean that life on Venus never truly disappeared. It simply adapted to the only habitable zone left on the planet. But others believe these dark patches may be something even stranger. Some argue that the patches move in ways that suggest intelligent control, leading to theories about unknown technology operating in Venus's skies. Are these biological organisms or alien technology? Is someone watching Venus? Another shocking element of the declassified images is the appearance of objects in Venus's atmosphere that defy explanation. Several images show high-altitude anomalies that seem to be hovering or maneuvering against the planet's extreme winds. Venus's upper atmosphere experiences wind speeds exceeding 200 miles per hour, making it nearly impossible for anything to remain stationary without propulsion. These objects could be 
unidentified flying objects, UFOs, monitoring Venus for unknown reasons. Remnants of ancient technology still operational despite the planet's conditions. Unexplained natural phenomena that challenge our understanding of physics. Whatever they are, they should not be there. Yet the declassified images confirm their existence. Why is this information being revealed now? The release of these images raises a major question. Why now? For decades, space agencies have focused their attention on Mars, while Venus was largely ignored. But now, suddenly, we see NASA, Russia, and private space companies rushing to send new missions to Venus. A surge in funding for Venus exploration. Increased military satellite observations of Venus. What do they know that we don't? Some speculate that the release of these declassified images is part of a slow disclosure process. Governments may already have knowledge of something extraordinary on Venus and are preparing the public for a groundbreaking announcement. But there is also a more concerning possibility. What if something is about to happen on Venus? Could the planet's recent activity indicate an imminent event? Something that space agencies have already detected? If so, are we being prepared for a revelation that will change everything we know about our place in the universe? What happens next? With these declassified images now in public hands, the race is on to uncover the truth. Will scientists confirm the presence of ancient ruins on Venus? Will we discover microbial life still surviving in the atmosphere? Or will we find evidence of an advanced presence monitoring Venus for reasons unknown? One thing is certain. Venus is no longer just a hostile world of extreme heat and pressure. It is a planet with secrets, and those secrets are beginning to unravel. With each new mission, each new image, and each new discovery, we are closer than ever to unlocking the true history of Venus. And when we do, it might just rewrite everything we thought we knew about the solar system, about life, and about the very origins of civilization itself.